Hello everyone, in this video I would like to show you how to build up your Geo database which we have created in the last video and in this video I would like to show how to create a new feature class like you maybe also know from creating just a shapefile or something like that. So we are here in our city data Geo database we just have cr or have created by right-clicking and saying new feature class we will create a new feature class inside this geo database so the name should be well let us stick to the to the book the name should be water lines and I would like you to not to skip the part to miss blanks here so always uh, or don't use blanks in names for your files, for your geodatabases or so somewhere else because there are some systems who cannot manage them that good. So we will uh, also, oh, well, you can say these as a, as a alias and uh, these water lines, as you may know, these are line features and they do not contain or include M values uh, for root data or 3D data like Z values. So we'll just click on next. Uh, there's we need to define some kind of projection system. So what we will do is we will not search for some, but we know that in our geo database there are already there is data available. So we will use import and choose our exercise folder so from parcels so there is a name NAD 1983 state plane Kansas North FIPS 1501 what a great coordinate system sorry for that ironic comment on that just click on next this is a default value, so the XY tolerance is a minimum distance between coordinates before they are considered equal. So if you have one coordinate and another and the uh, difference between the coordinates is less than 0 0.89 foot, they will be uh, merged or they will be respected as the same coordinate. So we'll use that um, as a default value. Just click on next. There are the new feature classes. You can um, try to import field features uh, in this. So um, you can type something in here. Let's say this is uh, something like a text value. This is um, maybe the, let's say, uh, a name for that. So this is text and the text has maybe a length of 100 um, possible um, letters and yeah so you can easily adjust your field names prior um, using using the edit function to um, edit this shape file or this feature class so this is it now we will just click on finish now this one is stored and you can go on by adding field names and domains as we have done it here now um, already but you can also uh, go right to an editing session and draw your features we will cover that in the ongoing videos thank you very much